What's up everybody, I'm Jeremy. Welcome back to Catfish Motorsports and we have a rule on this channel. Anytime I can do a test and it lets me go drag racing, I'm gonna do it. Now if we look way back for my seven subscribers about a year ago, the very first video I did that actually got any real traction was a video where I was showing how to get rubber from drag racing or doing burnouts off the back of your car. I was just using a combination of some penetrating fluid and some engine degreaser and then washing the car like normal. Works, I've done it forever. But I got two overwhelming comments. The first one was to use bug and tar remover. Everybody actually suggested a rain -X. They were out of that at my local parts store. But we do have some mother's speed bug and tar remover here. So we're gonna give that a shot. The other one, a bit more interesting, was some variation of, well, back in the day, NASCAR crews used to spray cooking spray over all the surfaces, and then it would just wipe off when they were done racing. So we've got some Pam here. So we're gonna do an A-B test as best we can. Uh, I've cleaned the car off it's about as clean as it gets. You know, I'm not the most diligent about cleaning my car all the time and it's white paint. So especially back here, it is a little dingy even when clean. There's some rock chips here and there. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna spray this quarter panel down with Pam and then leave it there. The other quarter panel, I'm not gonna do anything to. Then we're gonna go hit the drag strip. My local drag strip is having its normal Saturday bracket race. So we're gonna go hit that. Hopefully we win, we probably won't. I'm not a particularly good bracket racer. Then tomorrow, I'm gonna come out and hopefully we're just gonna wipe this side off without putting anything on it. And we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see how right the old heads are on that. On the other side, we're gonna use this bug and tar remover and see how well that cleans the one that we did not treat with cooking spray. Let's hit the track. Before we hit the road here, we're gonna spray it on this whole panel with Pam. I could have got the Dollar General brand, but I wanted this test to be as conclusive as possible. So we went name brand on them. And we'll see how that works. Ship. We're in the staging lanes at Speed's New Hope in New Hope, Indiana. This is their standard Saturday night bracket race. I have never won one of these. I'm not very good at this. But no matter what, racing's fun. And we managed to take a test where we're just cleaning the back of our quarter panels off and turn it into going racing. So that's a win in and of itself. All right, here we go. Pulling into the burnout box. They got kind of a weird burnout box here. You got to back into it. We're next to a, something like a 90s. Dodge Dakota, that's had a V8 swap, I'm sure. We got him pretty easy there, and he left on us. Woo! So this is race number two against some sort of supercharged Challenger. It wasn't a real Hellcat, but you can get the blower. I decided to try out my new magnet mount for my GoPro here. This is definitely not a real Hellcat. It's dialed in at like an 8.25. I actually reel off a 7.9 on this run, but I'm dead asleep in a tree, so we end up getting the wind light. Now that said, this is where our problem started on the night. About halfway down the track, right about when the guy comes back and drives around me on the big end with the supercharger, I just wasn't getting fuel. Uh, the car was breaking up, and then it got worse on every run after this. For reference, here's an old time slip. My car should be good for 780s and below 90s of this track. Today, we get slower and slower as my fuel issue gets worse. This guy for being at the track before he even has real tags. Okay. Well, things are not going swimmingly. Uh, first run went okay, it was a little bit slow, but I wasn't pushing it hard. 
second one was fast, but it was breaking up. The third one was slow and breaking up. So we're gonna run one more time just so I can turn the data logger on and see if I could see what's happening because I really don't know at this point. Uh, but I don't want to hurt it. So if it's breaking up again, we're gonna just let out of it and take our L and go home and then do the test in the morning. So long story short, we actually got into the second round, but then left because I didn't want to hurt it. It was still kind of acting goofy. And then as soon as I left, I realized what had probably happened. Let me show you guys. So what you're seeing there is one of the injectors isn't firing. And I mean, it's really clear on the camera. You can see the three holes have fuel sloshing over the blades and one of them doesn't. Now that could be a straight up bad injector, but I bet it's not. I bet it's just the injector harnesses come loose. Why I'm extra mad about this is I actually did a video showing the symptoms of that and how easy of a fix it is. And I just wasn't thinking about it. Like I said, I, it's an easy fix if that's what it is. You pop the fuel bowl off, you know, push the harness back on and I could have kept racing and had a real good shot at winning because like I said, I was already in the second round, but uh, didn't think about it until I left and then I'm kicking myself, but say la vie. All right, let's see what we got here. I should wait till morning to do this. It's still kind of hot, but it's bothering me. So we're gonna do it now. Maybe it's pulled out, yeah. Maybe that's pulled out a little bit. It, yeah. So you might not be able to see that very well from where you're at, but that is kind of pulling out. Uh, on the other one over here, I've actually zip tied that one because I had a problem with it before. In retrospect, I guess I should have just did it to all of them when I checked them. Lesson to be learned there. Luckily though, easy fix. On the worst case scenario here, we plug this back in probably and it still doesn't work, then we replace the injector. So still not that big of a deal. So it's hot. I'm probably not gonna mess with it anymore because it's burning my fingers. Now I know what's wrong. I'll come out in the morning, I'll fix that and we'll do our test. See you tomorrow. We are once again firing on all four. All right, it's the next day. We're back. We went racing, didn't win, but we did manage to get the rear quarters good and rubbery. Uh, funny enough, the PAM side doesn't seem like it got as much on it. I don't know if that's because it was sloughing some of it off because of the spray or if just naturally the limited slip was spinning one tire more than the other one. Not sure. All right, so here's the plan. We've got our mother's bug and tar remover here. Uh, it says you're supposed to spray it on and let it sit for a little while to you know, work its magic or whatever. So we're gonna spray this on and while it's working its foaming action, then we're gonna go over to the PAM side and play with it and we'll come back and wipe this one off afterwards. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it or not. I just reflexively shake spray bottles. All right, that's good and saturated. We'll switch over to the other side. All right, so in theory, this side is just gonna wipe off. I can actually still see some of the spray sticking to it. So we got a shot here. There's nothing else on it other than the Pam I put on it, you know, 24 hours ago. Hopefully this works. Well, it's smearing around. I don't know if we're gonna get away without putting anything on it, but compared to how much work it is to just clean it off, you know, if you're normally using car wash, if you sprayed this on and then wash the car or just spray a little bit of glass cleaner on or something like that, I bet it'll work. I'm gonna keep trying for a second with a new rag. Well, I gotta tell you, that does work. Uh, the only problem is it tends to streak some, so you have to continuously switch the side of the rag you're using. But if you came out here and used a little bit of basic cleaner on top of it, I think that would work just fine. Gotta give the old heads credit here. A little bit of cooking spray before you go racing, it works. So this is just glass cleaner. I'm gonna spray it on there and get these streaks off. Oh yeah. Victory. All right, now for the mother's bug and tar remover side. Let's see if this is any easier. It is coming off. 
but there are much bigger chunks that had stuck to this side. I, again, I cannot claim for 100% certain that is the uh, PAM, because you know, anytime you do a burnout, you know, you're probably not gonna get exactly the same amount of rubber thrown on both sides, so that might just be because of that. It also might not be. The PAM might have stopped the bigger chunks from sticking to it. This is working, but it's still leaving some chunks that I'm gonna have to fight. It does great in the areas that you just had a little bit, like all the way up here, it knocks those right off. It's just these bigger chunks. And you might be able to do better with a, a sponge or you know a rag that's slightly more aggressive. Reapply. You know, other than repeating the test with uh, the sides flip-flopped, which is the only thing I could think to do to make this more scientific and just do it a few more times, but uh, right now, with one application, I'd say Pam's probably the winner here. I mean, I've worked about as hard equal sides with the rag, and you know, you can see that we've still got chunks sticking to it. Basic degreaser. Now with this, because it probably says somewhere on it that you shouldn't use it on paint, I'm gonna clean it off with glass cleaner and just water right after this. So I've done this a bunch of times, I'm not really concerned about it, but do use it at your own risk. That's gonna do it for this one. Quarter panels on both sides are now clean. I do gotta say, there seems to be a clear winner on this one. And oddly enough, it's the cooking spray. Uh, I got both sides, but I did have to expend a heck of a lot more sweat equity to get the side that didn't have the cooking spray on and just had the mothers on it. I think the next time I go racing, before I go, I'm gonna spray each quarter panel down with cooking spray because I don't like to work hard and this made it a lot easier to clean up. Well, I learned something. I hope you guys did too. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.